Hey everyone and welcome to another video. This actually is the last video of the decade, believe it or not. Um, this time we're going to look at the big bone, so let's get right into it. For the big bone, uh, I like to design my own tails. Uh, the last video I said that I don't like using wiggle tails on uh, T-bones, this is the exception. Uh, it's a slightly modified wiggle tail. I like to make it more streamlined, uh, like this jerk bait. Um, hybrid lures, uh, I find that the, the tail don't act as much as a brake. It's uh, not as aggressive taper as a normal wiggle tail that you find in the in the in the fly shops. If you can't make your own tails, uh, I would go for the slim version of the wiggle tail. Don't go for the large one. The slim one is uh, much better for that type of streamer. So. All you can do, you can design your tails, feel free to, to experiment, but uh, I find that a thinner tail uh, will produce um, far more wiggle and doesn't act uh, like a big break at the back of your fly. <laughs> Now, as you can see on this tail, um, the shape is not as aggressive. It's a kind of a U shape instead of uh, the point going back towards the, the base of the tail. So this is usually what I like to go for. I like to add a little bit of body tubing on the top of the tail section just to give it an extra wiggle. It, uh, it really does help compared to just a, a tail tied on its own.
Now for this first uh, bit of bucktail, I like to taper my bucktail so don't go full whack and put the whole length of the bucktail. Start short at the back and uh, slowly and uh, gradually build up your bucktail to a longer, longer size towards the front of, a, of the fly. Now uh, between each sections, um, I like to put a bit of chenille, just for that extra color, uh, extra little flash, and uh, it uh, helps to create a little base for the body tubing to, to hang on to the fly and not start spinning around. Keep tapering your bucktail, now this time a little bit longer than the tail section, just to give your fly uh, a more tapered look and a more natural look. So this here you can look at um, how the body tubing works, it helps to spread the bucktail, give the fly a lot of volume without adding too much weight. All you have to do now is repeat the same uh, as the last section. So chenille and body tubing and a bit of bucktail at the front. For the head, uh, for this I like to use a homemade uh, shank. Um, I keep them around 35 to 40 mil. That gives you a good size for a nice, nice head at the front. Same again, a nice uh, layer of chenille, just to give that little accent of color at the back and a little bit of flash, and it'll give you your uh, body tubing something to, to grab on with the glue. Uh, like that, especially for the head, you don't want that to start moving around.
Now to finish the head, I like to use um, a different color of bucktail and um, I like to go with the, the hair on the back of the bucktail. Uh, they're a little bit more hollow and as you can see they'll, they'll spread out and flare out a little bit easier. That's it. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, as usual, feel free to experiment with the different tails. Uh, keep them slim, and uh, you'll have a nice uh, jerk bait side-to-side -side motion with that extra wiggle at the back. Thanks again, and see you for the next one.